Alright. Turn my lesson now. This is a well, it's gonna be as long as y'all make it. It's a very interactive. <laughs> y'all gonna be talking. I want y'all to talk. You know me. I don't want to speak at y'all with y'all input. What y'all, what y'all think, what y'all heard. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and this one is on healthy relationships. It's gonna be great. Okay, good. Get out of here. Now, what relationship do you think they're talking about when they say healthy relationship? All relationships. Here we go. We're really talking about the relationship with us and God as it pertains to, and what they use is our marriage. When we say earth on the earth, they're talking about marriage. They're talking about that's that's actually the inference between relationship between us and God is that marriage. So when they say build a healthy relationship, when they they're talking about it both between men and women, we're going to look at those aspects, but also our relationship to God. And the first one is going to be about our relationship to God because. That's our model. That's what we're going to model our relationship on earth about. Um, so, the three areas that we're talking about is going to be the good, the bad, and the mean. That's basically we're talking about our relationship with God. We're going to say a woman's role and a man's role. So, I'm sorry, Chris, we're outnumbered. So, that's, you know, that's the same thing. Because we're going to talk about the roles and why we look at it in certain ways and how we look at them, period. And um, the first is the good, the bad, and the meat. And I need y'all to turn to Hosea 1. Everybody got a Bible? Turn to Hosea 1. Hosea? Hosea? Yes. Hosea 1. Why are you turning? I want to do this. Old Testament. He just ate my food. I okay. mean, it don't have to be okay. super bad. I'm just saying, I like, what you consider bad. I feel like it's bad. Well, here's the other part. What kind of trouble did y'all get in? I got big trouble, little trouble, punishment. That's what I was doing. You mean you got away with it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But stuff I did, I had. Yeah, I got big trouble. Big job. Okay. Um, and the reason I'm asking is because I'm trying to get y'all to understand relationship on earth, on earth when you're saying like you do something bad. <coughs> you do something bad, usually you get reprimanded for it. Something happens, a reaction for whatever you did, right? You get punishment, get your stuff taken away, get in trouble, big trouble. Sometimes you get away with it because you know it's bad, all that stuff. All right. And 
And the reason we're asking that is because God doesn't really punish us. Like He has a, He doesn't punish us for the stuff we ta- uh, we do. And I'm trying to say it as in like, all right, think about last time you sinned, right? When was the last time you sinned? Something that you did, like against God. When you did something that you know that you shouldn't have against God or didn't just didn't live up to the relationship standards that you supposed to have between God. What did he do? Or what really, I mean, in the aspect of when you say relationship between man, you got punished when you stole, but what did you do when you sinned? What, 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 what happened to you? What did God do to you? You forget that. It does, yes, you're right. It takes away the relationship, but did you really get punished? Nope. Not, not really. You don't see the punishment in that scale. Like that. And the reason is not because he can't punish you. He could strike you down. He could beat you. He could cause everything in your life to just go awry because you sinned against him. He could kill you. That's that's actually what sin is supposed to produce, is death. But he has an unconditional love for us. So he doesn't do that. He doesn't give us what we deserve when we sin. But yet we on the earth, that's how we treat each other. If you do something bad, you need to get a punishment. We have a uh, what you call a, a crime and punishment thing. If you do the crime, you should get punished for it. That's how the world sees our relationships to be with each other. You do something to me, you deserve to get that. You hit me, I do, you deserve to get hit back. You say something stupid, I'm, I have the right to say something stupid back to you. We're entitled, we feel like we're entitled to that in our relationship, that. but we're trying to break that because that's how we look at things, but that's not how God deals with us. That's not our relationship with God. He does not do that to us. In fact, he is done even the opposite. He is, because we were doing that, he sent somebody to be our sacrifice, our scapegoat for that. Gonna, who said that? Whose lesson was that? We were talking about the uh, sacrifice. The Malachi? It said scapegoat. He did. He gave us a scapegoat, his own son. So we have to understand in that relationship, first of all, that God does not deal with us on a deserving basis. Here goes to the other question. And it kind of touched on the other part where we're talking about somebody else's thing. How long does it take y'all to repent for when y'all sin? Do y'all actually do it? Who says they have repented? Okay. Oh. Yeah? Okay. How, yeah? How long has it taken y'all? Have y'all done it immediately? Some stuff I had. It just goes wrong. Like, even this is wrong. I got to do it wrong from the beginning. I do it right after. Okay. Alright. Alright. Transition from how long it took y'all and if y'all were paying. Now we're saying, now we're going to ask the question is in a couple situation, how does that work? On the, what happens when you don't when you think that you don't repent or you don't repent in a in a situation where you're together, like you're dating somebody. What happens when you don't repent? Relationship and that's it. And you don't say you're sorry. What do you say happens? It's like that emotion brings back and y'all deal with it. Figure out what? That don't deal with it. Right. And the whole thing about repenting is is the opening and saying, oh, you know what, I'm sorry, forgive me, I'm going to change. And we were talking about that again when Apostle was up here saying, and I brought it up saying, when you don't do that, it leaves something, it deposits something in y'all. Y'all stay in a place of not going past it, it's not, it's not dealt with, so there's always something hidden. And y'all know that, like I said, when y'all do each other, when you do something and you know you did it, you can't come to that person in the same way no more because you still know you did it and you haven't said sorry about it. It's like the, what they say, the elephant in the room. When you're, when something's going on, everybody knows something's there, but they don't want to talk about it. Because maybe it's your fault, and you don't want to bring it up. And so she ain't saying nothing. You know, why should I bring it up? I don't want to go into it because, you know, I was wrong. That's how, that, that, that's what we do. And it's the same thing with God, when we don't repent with God. We're like, all right, God, you know what I did, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to say I'm sorry about it. I don't want to bring it up. Just keep doing, let's act like we are. Uh, have this good relationship, like act like nothing happened between us. And the question is, why do we do that? 